Snake. Peace Walker has crossed the border and entered a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of Lago Colsibolca. Coleman's targeting the MSF plant. That's us. Don't let it launch that nuke. Destroy Peace Walker. The river that flows between Nicaragua and Costa Rica is the Rio San Juan. It connects Lago Cosibolca to El Mar Caribe. It is a gentle river, safe even for small boats. You have to watch out for the sharks, though. Sharks? In a river? El Tiburón Toro live in the river, but there's nothing to fear. San Juan will protect you always. Juan? The Rio San Juan takes its name from San Juan, the man who baptized Jesus the man you call John the Baptist in your country. Hmm. John, huh? I'll be careful anyway. I'd hate to drown. End up a John Doe. There is a volcanic island in Lago Cosibolca called Ometepe. It's formed from two connected volcanoes shaped like a porongo. The one with smoke coming out of it. That's the one. The smoking volcano is Concepcion. It erupts once in a while. The other one is Maderas. It's never erupted in recorded history. There's a lake in the caldera at the top. A crater lake? Mm -hmm. Let's hope there's not another underground factory inside. Don't say that. If Peace Walker's nukes detonated there, it would destabilize the magma underneath. It could cause the volcano to erupt again. If that happens, my country is doomed. Snake, you must stop Peace Walker. What are we gonna do, Snake? If Peace Walker attacks Mother Base... Relax. We've got the entire MSF out to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but Peace Walker's missiles have one megaton warheads. The fireball alone would be a mile in diameter. Everything in the vicinity of Ground Zero will be vaporized by the heat rays. Then there's the blast, which travels at hundreds of miles per hour. And the fires, and the... A huge dose of radiation from the initial nuclear reaction. That too. There won't be a single survivor. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Look, Doc, you made that thing. You know better than anybody what it's capable of. Right now, you've got to give me a rational, scientific estimate of the damage. If we're talking about a nuclear explosion, it's more than just MSF's problem. You're right, Snake. Sorry about that. Like I was saying... Mother base would be wiped out. Any ships in the area could be caught in the blast, too. We'd need to send out a warning. The thing to worry about most is the fallout. The dust of death. If it goes off over water, the particles will be smaller than with an explosion over land, so the wind will scatter the fallout over a wider area. Clouds will form around the salt crystals in the seawater, causing contaminated rain to fall downwind. Yeah, got a taste of that myself. On Bikini Atoll? That's right. The 1954 Castle Bravo test created fallout 300 miles downwind. Poisoned a lot of local residents and ships, so I hear. The yield of Peace Walker's warheads isn't that big, but the amount of fallout will largely depend on weather conditions. It's impossible to make a quick and easy estimate. If it gets into the trade winds, it could come straight to Costa Rica. What was it Coldman was saying? About leaving people... Free to help out? He's out of his mind. What does he think's gonna happen? When they get hit by rain containing high concentrations of fallout, a lot of them will die from the external exposure alone. The rain will seep into the ground, contaminating the water supply and crops. When they ingest the stuff, the internal exposure starts. Strontium-90 and cesium-137 have half-lives of around 30 years. The effects stay with you your entire life. Leukemia, cataracts, dermatitis, cancer. And it affects reproduction, too. I know. Even today, 30 years after World War II, thousands of people still suffer from exposure to the bomb. We can't let Coldman create more of them just to prove his point. I know it sounds crazy, but I created Peace Walker so that that kind of thing would never happen again. Don't worry, Doc. We'll stop it. One way or another. The sneaking suit is a specialized uniform for stealth missions. It provides excellent camo in any stage. Even better, you won't make a sound when you walk. 
Ooh, so I won't need to tiptoe all the time. And to top it off, it also makes your wounds heal faster. The fabric exerts just the right amount of pressure on your body to help stop bleeding. Huh. Not a bad little trick. Take the gondola west along the river. When you reach the northern bank, you are in Nicaragua. I've arranged for a guide to get you close. Snake! Tigo. Sorry about the horse. He sure was pretty. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Boss. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. Kill me. Kill me now. There's only room for one boss. And one snake. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove their innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way that the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her in America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. That was her final mission. Snake, history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true Patriot. <laughs> Something's not right. Geek guard doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Gonna need some help. And clear. Got in without a hitch. Good. There's an airfield on the other side of the building, on the northwestern shore of the lake. That's where they'll conduct the launch. There's a communications tower in front of you. I'm betting they'll control Peace Walker from there. Cuz. They're targeting Mother Base. 
Don't you think you should evacuate? Nah. Everybody here believes in you, boss. <laughs> Alright, fine then. I've kind of gotten attached to the place myself. What about Amanda and her people? They've been taken to safety. We can't involve them in this any further. Good. They've got their own cause to fight for. And Snake. Don't forget the bad guys have got Paz. I won't. We're prepping a few backup units. Don't let them launch, Snake. We're counting on you. See the communications tower to the west? Head for that, Snake! Soviet soldiers, on an American base. Something's wrong here. Keep your eyes peeled, boss. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter.
Primary subject confirmed on board helicopter. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete.
be watching over you. Here goes nothing.